And then on the internet, I saw something interesting. This is about HARP. Uh, this is some kind of radar um, station that Raytheon has created, some kind of defense, uh, national defense radar system. And some people say that they're actually causing earthquakes with their madness. Here is some thing on the internet. Now, I don't know about conspiracy theories. There have been earthquakes in Japan forever. And that's why they should have never had nuclear power on that small, small island with earthquake and volcanic activity. Why would they do that? Well, they thought that they didn't have any natural resources to join the West in this idea of progress. And so that's why they did this back in uh, the 1950s is when their nuclear industry started because they thought, okay, this is a way that we can become energy independent. Where are we gonna go for energy uh, in, on, on that small island? There just wasn't any. So they would either have to import or build nuclear power because those there wasn't any alternative energy proposals at that time, but there are now. And so now Japan can be one of the first nations to go completely solar or tidal energy or wind or a combination of all. It needs to be the leader to show us how to live without nukes. And it's all kinds of nukes. It's also the problem of nukes in warfare. We are still building nuclear uh, weapons, weapons of mass destruction that use uh, radioactive materials. Uh, we have to end this. This is over. This is like over with the nuclear age. So it's just not nuclear power, the quote, peaceful use of nukes, but it's also the whole military industrial complex that has created this industry and conti continues to feed it billions of dollars at the expense of our humanity. And so uh, there was a protest today that I went to about the anniversary of the invasion of Iraq. And here are some images from that. Bush and Obama, corporate sponsors, this endless war. War corporations making a killing. And that's what they're doing. Uh, they are killing us so they can have their profits. And what we really need is prophecy. Prophecy that looks at all of humanity in a light that we see everybody as a human family. When I see those Japanese who are suffering because their homes were destroyed in the tsunami and they might never be able to go back, to the place where they lived because of radiation. My heart hurts for those people, even though I've never seen them. It's an act of compassion. And that's how we need to feel about all of the suffering that's going on on this planet so that we can find the way to end it. And here are some the um, Native American dancers at this demonstration. Green Party was there. That's Mary at the table. Depleted uranium is still killing kids in Iraq. And what a crime is that? I don't know. I think the United States is due for a major earthquake tsunami uh, to wipe out all the egotism of this nation state. And it's going to be massive unless we come to our senses, grow up, and try a new model. Drone attacks are cowardly. These drones, unmanned military aircraft, yes, they are. You don't see the person that you're killing. It's just this uh, 
um, devices, robots that are killing human beings, and they kill, uh, they call them enemy combatants, and then they kill civilians. Well, that's just not the way to deal with our issues here on the planet. And then they're torturing uh, Bradley Manning for the WikiLeaks. They're accusing him of being the leaker. So um, we just need to stop all this torture happening in the United States, too. The lies. We are drowning in lies. Uh, and it's uh, the personal lies that we tell ourselves. It's the media lies that we get from the mass media, the distractions that the mass media does so we don't look at ourselves, so we don't hear that inner voice that is guiding us to this greater reality. And about the drones killing the civilians, which is really uh, not the way to bring world peace. And the veterans here for peace. There I am. Uh, humanitarian aid is never a crime. And about the border issues. Uh, human rights coalition. And then... The results of war. I went to this softball game of amputees. And look, this is the result of war. In Iraq, in Pakistan, they have been, their legs and arms have been blown up. These soldiers should not have sacrificed their arms and legs for these oil wars. There is no reason for this. It's senseless. Look, there's two legs gone. And it was amazing. I mean, when I first saw these guys, I went, God, they're just like, they're looking like robots now. These artificial limbs, it's amazing how they can um, play softball. And very successfully, I saw many home runs. But um, the agony of having your limb blown up, the... Uh, the lingering effects of that and, and coming home without your whole body, it's, it's a tragedy. It's a national tragedy. Uh, no arm there. And then the girls, it was this uh, female, male thing going on. Uh, when they make a home run, the, the women's softball team would go up to the men. And you can see they all have their legs. They're not... Uh, affected in the same way as the men were. And there's a, a hook leg. More of this. I mean, these are what we have done with our tax monies. We are all responsible for this. And the women uh, urging them on. And there you can see um, really this uh, sadness of this. I just, uh, it's almost hard to express how um, sad this is. But we can come out of this, we can put it into war, into the nuclear age by building new civilization based on different kind of relationship with nature, a different ethics of how we live. And it's the feminine, finally listening to women coming around and being a, having a caring economy where we don't sacrifice our men, where women take responsibility, where they don't image themselves as just mothers. So we can build these new kinds of cities. This is Vince and this architect I just adore, and he biomimics nature to build these wonderful cities. And it's a different system, a different design. And what our task is, is to find the peace infrastructure to be able to make this, the energy, the guidance, the leadership in order 
for him to be able to do his genius with all the other people that it takes to build a city, which is all of us, which is putting the military into the role of being engineers, to building the new Iraq, to rebuilding Japan, and all these other places that are having these terrible uh, situations of homelessness, to stopping poverty. We can do that. We can build the new civilization. I love this image because you can imagine this in the Tokyo Bay after the radiation goes away, but you can see the old civilization on the banks and then these new cities like lily pods being built with high technology, with no automobiles, with using alternative energy, wave power, using uh, solar energy, uh, farming the ocean like we have not done before. It is endless what we can do if we start maturing and being really high level thinkers. That's what we need to overcome the disease of toxic radioactivity. So please pray with me, meditate with me, however you get in touch with the divine so that we can do, build this divine city, go into the next phase of humanity with our dignity, with integrity, Get out of the sea of lies that we are in now.